to Forever Home Channel. On this platform, we discuss all things related to Ghana and Africa. Our real estate company, Royal Consulting Solution, is the foremost location for all your land acquisition, building needs, relocation, and starting a successful business in Ghana. We also provide quality information through our consultation and webinar series. We can be reached at royalconsultingsolutions.com. Come join the trusted source for all your reliable information. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening in some part of the world. I hope you guys are well. I see some eyeballs over there. Let me know who is here and then we can um, continue our discussions. Um, to you guys, I hope everybody is doing super, super well. And um, and today, okay, prepare for some questions if you have them. As as I give you some points to continue your your journey into uh, your building your dream home and and other things. Okay, if you have any questions, you know you can you can always contact me at that's the Gmail. And uh, if you have uh, our services, you can go to our website, um, royalconsultingsolutions.com, check out the page. And then uh, we offer various um, services. Okay, so check it out. And then, okay, so we are going to start. Let's see some, I want to give some shout out. Kwame, thank you. Ivy Eve, Hajia, thank you for joining. I hope all is good. There's more people there. I can see more eyeballs than type it in. So anyway, uh, as the topic said, right, how to navigate, um, how to navigate uh, through your building, your building process, and uh, you know, usually for most people, start with excitement, right? So you know, see this dream you want to accomplish. Uh, what is a dream home? or like your first Charlie home. And there's a lot of excitement uh, as you watch, you know, blueprints, you watch other videos and all that stuff. So then you start, um, you start actually, you know, thinking about how you're gonna execute this. So the excitement is good, it's very, very important uh, to, you know, stay excited. You need that in the process as well. But then at a certain point, right, you gotta get to the ground and figure exactly how you are going to pull all this thing together. It is, it is okay if you don't have all the answers. Nobody does. Um, you know, is and and so that you need to know enough about what you're trying to accomplish. So you might have to do a little bit of research as well, but you don't have to be an expert in everything per se. Then you find the right team that can just help you execute. Okay. So another thing to another thing to that I see box people down also is um I, you know, I think for those who are building the bigger homes, you know, the 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 square feet and more, you know, it's always important uh, to actually find somebody who has gone through that route and then uh, trying to pick their brains, pay for their services to give you that information if they request that. Um, so then uh, it can help you gauge because of uh, seeing, because what usually ha end up happening is, um, so you put his 10 bedroom or whatever, and then all of a sudden you get to finishing and then you have to, because the cost, the cost of finishing is no joke. Then you have to really put some low quality stuff and it takes away from, from the house. So it's better, you know, to maintain the quality throughout. So you may have to go a little bit smaller and you can watch my other video about the layout of a size, right? So that was important because... The goal is you don't want to be house poor. You know, house poor is, you know, all your money is tied up into construction. And then if something happens, there's no emergency uh, emergency finances to take care of anything. That's a bad idea, bad place you want to be. Uh, so there's a formula that we employ uh, to make sure that you can still take care of all the responsibilities in your respective places and also be able to build this thing over time, right? And so these are all important because, you know, I want you to finish the process um, uh, because 25% of people in Ghana, uh, uh, projects are not completed for myriad of reasons. And one of them is um, underestimating the actual cost. 
So that means you factor in, into the inflation, like the last video I did on Monday about all this stuff. So it's about always planning, uh, you know, contingencies and, and how to mitigate around this stuff. So maybe some of you have not heard, I think gonna pass a new law. I haven't read the law yet, um, but somebody, I saw a video in which they were saying that uh, those people who are in, engaging in land, uh, fraudulent activity, especially selling the land to multiple people, creating chaos, and uh, the chiefs are also cooperate, uh, cooperate in, in, in this aspect. Uh, there's a new law is they have to pay the, um, what is it about, what is it, uh, let me see, $35,000, dollars all, or what they have to, or they have to spend 15 to 20 years in jail. It would be nice if it can be enforced, but at the end of the day, you know, that doesn't really affect us because we're still gonna do our due diligence and, and, and take care of all the details so that we can know that, um, you know, people, uh, we're holding people accountable and not putting our clients and ourselves in uh, some predicament. So the law is great. If it's enforced, it will be wonderful. Uh, it's about time uh, people get jailed uh, for for these activities. It's a nightmare. But you still got to, you know, the you know, responsibilities on, on you to make sure everything is good, um, you know, so then when you build, you can, you can have a peace of mind and that kind of stuff. And so... So these are some of the you know few tips um, you know I want you to um, you know put 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 that at the back of your mind. Uh, but building is exciting, you know, is is uh, is really exciting. Uh, it can become addictive though after the first one. But um, you know you are proving to yourself what you made out of. You are proving um, um, there's uh, a lot of things to you. you. You know you are separating yourself from most people. And, and and that's a great thing. Um, and so that step is very, very important. But one thing, one tip I want to give you guys is um, why well, I give some shout out to a couple of people that joined is um, it is very, very important that you really take your time when you get a blueprint to really, really study it, study it, study it, study it, make notes, you know, do all your modification because um, when you super organize and you know exactly what you want in execution, uh, you know, there's a trade-off. You know, uh, the, the pros is that it's going to uh, enhance your lifestyle, the quality, the feel of the house, and also it's going to be more cost effective in terms of you're doing things that you don't have to do modification. The other downside is uh, it becomes really, really detailed. And so that means that all those things must be done uh, uh, doing the foundation level uh, to make room for the adjustment. But uh, when you do that, I think uh, you end up creating a masterpiece for yourself and uh, is even better than what a blueprint is. But sometimes too, people will stretch, stretch it and then, you know, because then when you start moving walls and a bunch of stuff to other places, change the whole floor. So, um, so you have to be careful about that. We can help you look at those things and give you some input. We have some people join us. Let me see, ladies. So, um, and Jana is here. Eric Anku. Anku is here. Okay. Um, and so, put some comments here. Yeah. So, if it can be implemented, that would be great. Uh, it has been implemented, but it has to be enforced. So, um, all, they, all it takes is just start throwing a couple of chiefs and some people in jail you know, to, to, to stop that kind of stuff. Because the previous law was the burden is, was on you, the, the buyer, to make sure that this person are not selling you um, illegal lands or land that have already been sold. You know, so now the burden has been put on the seller, right? Okay. Yes. Um, yes, and and that's and that is things that people don't want to talk about. Um, is uh, uh, that's kind of for you right there. Um, and so is is that that is what I'm all about um, taking your time and going through going through these things because listen it's not like it's not like one cannot deal with conflict but some conflict if you can avoid it just avoid the stress uh, you will get in when it's absolutely necessary and you don't have 
a way to do it. That's what I think. Uh, because in any conflict you get into, you know, there's there's some level of risk, right? And so, um, so it's still, you know, handy your business and that kind of stuff. Um, thank you, thank you. You know, I know Boogie Down Bronze. You know, I used to come to East Tremont. Um, and what is it? Um, you know, Fall Down area and all that, that places. Okay. All right. Yeah, so... Um, so windows, windows are good. Um, location of the windows is even better. And also too, sometimes on the wall, you have to factor in, especially if it's gonna be a living room wall, or sometimes what happens, what happens is this, right? I'll give you this tip. What happens is that the windows are so wide. Let's say if you have a double window on each side, that the wall is tiny in the middle and, um, and then you don't have like a wall space to put like, um, Know, cabinet big TV screens and and all that kind of stuff so you want to you want to factor factor that in that also means that obviously it's going to cost more for your glass your window glass because the you know the size is going to uh, cause that um but but ideally it makes sense to do one big window down three smaller ones right okay so it brings in light obviously and sometimes too if you get a good breeze you can you can you can open it and get some good breeze um, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So the website, okay, I'll put, um, so let me put my website here. If you buy services, um, you can go here as a services, if you have a question and see what we do. Consultation, like I would say, it's a must. It's a must, must, super must. It's going to help you. When I started building the YouTube series, nobody was offering that um at that time so years of doing that i think it became in you know, a necessity um uh, to know what you're doing so you can you can execute excuse me you can execute execute very well and so so look in a website and then um you know let us know and we will take it from there Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> so it's part of that, but but don't let fear, you know, uh, knowledge, experience overcomes, you know, fear, right? And so those things are going to be there. The inflation is going to be there. It's not something you and I can control, but you need guidance. You know, you want people that have gone through the process before that can help you say, okay, this is how uh, you have to do it to be, to be effective. Um, because you know, if you wait five years, it's gonna you know, things are gonna be more expensive than five years. And so at a certain point you want to start the most important thing, like start right, the sequence matter, because if the cost goes high, then that means efficiency becomes a necessity, right? And so you have to factor that in. So that is why the experience uh comes in. And and that's the thing I want you to understand is you know it's funny because um you know, there's a lot, the, the, you know, there's a lot of duplication um, uh, even on YouTube, you know, one person moved to Ghana today, they get into real estate, right? That's fine. It's, uh, I'm all about um, free market and stuff like that. But for me, the way I, pr I approach things is experience. And if I'm going to you know, involve myself in money and stuff like that, then I'm going to go to a place that even if it costs me a little bit, I'm gonna to go to a place that I'm gonna get exactly what I want and get some quality product. So that so that is how I approach it, right? So um, but that is how you should you should look at it. Okay. And so it's possible, you know. I prove I prove, I prove um the first person at least on YouTube, YouTube, I don't know about Instagram or Facebook the the first person on youtube to actually build a house with that magnitude when i finished the first one so maybe there are some i think there's some that have been completed now that is about the same size or bigger than mine but i think when i finished my i was the uh, first person as, as, as i may be wrong but that i tried to complete it at that size so and i was trying to prove that it can be done 
right? How uh, it can be done. So, so that video, that was the reason that you can do it from our side. Okay. Um, good, good. All right. Some comments going on there. So, yeah. So, so then Raz is just, <laughs> yes. So, so all these things happening, right? It's happening. It's just, um, it's just part of the stuff, right? Um, the Lebanese and the Chinese and those people are going not worried about that. Um, they'll go there and do what they need to do, right? And so, and so, I'm all about overcoming, right? I'm all about overcoming. That's my life, you know. Whatever the issue is, I'm gonna rise above it. So, um, just one of those things. I would always cement this like 10, 10 cities right now, right? That'd be awesome. But you know, you live, you live in a reality, okay? Um. And um, so let's do this. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. You got to be careful with that because look, look, look at it. Um, because what, you know, if you have a good relationship, maybe they can do that for you for a week or two. But they also want to make money, right? So think about it. Reverse it. If you are a business owner and you see the cost of materials and that will increase your profit margin, are you going to lock in the lower rate with everybody? Obviously not, right? And so that thing is very, very tricky. So there's certain things that you can just buy. And uh, I think one of the things is like storage. You need a good storage for some of these things. And so, because I already start buying some of my stuff already. So um, so buy them, the iron rods, the wood, the couple of things of cement, you have to, you can't hold them for a long time. So you have to factor that in. But I will be careful and, cause this is gonna, you, you know, they might, and kill for I Listen, I, I don't know who, the, Kill for is, but I man, I respect him. You know, I mean, I see, I see his businesses all over. Like every few months, kill for it. He's, you know, it's like uh, we need a lot of kill for it. So I don't know who that person is, but uh, I respect what he's been able to do. Uh, his imprint is all over the place. So, so you want to be, you want to be careful on that, right? You really want to be careful on that because um, I would say, just get a good storage and buy them and keep them. Um, stuff because at any point they could change you know if you lack if you lack like um um cement for you know 42 cds and then in a month it goes 50 cds but i think it will be very very difficult for them to give it to our 42 cds right and, and that is just on a real talk okay so buy these things and you know store them um or maybe sometimes too you gotta do multiple projects together and and then take a longer break if that's what you want to do. So that is where the you know um, the experience, you know, the, the experience come in. Okay, so we are what 32 people watching, so at least we need to get 32 likes. Um, you know, and stuff like that. So it's a strategy, right? It's a strategy, and um uh it's a strategy, and um it's um and so we we have to we have to uh you know, cable in this competition for sure, for sure. It's like, uh, you know, is 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 you know, because competition is gonna, um, you know, make sure that um, you know, there's no prize gouging and and uh, maybe give a better deal. But, but I respect him. It's like he, um, is what what he's done is incredible, right? You know, I respect that. So, um. You know, so so there's a couple of things, right? There's a couple of things. Um, well, if you look at it, you know, look at it this way too, right? So heat, heat transfer, right? Obviously, the more the more the, the distance is from uh, an aluminum, which is a good conductor of heat, to maybe a wood. Which is a poor conductor of heat. The longer the distance, then then it is better for you for the wood to actually retain that heat, right? If it's close by, then proximity, right? The transfer is easier. 
Um, and so there's there's some truth to that, but also too, I think uh, they say there's a couple combinations of of things that uh, you want to factor in to to like 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 for example, if this is a fact, okay, if your room when you, when you have an open open plan, right, floor plan, right, um, with the windows positioned the right way is more area. The heat is you able to spread out the heat, but if you have uh, kind of like closed spaces in the plan, or the heat is gonna stay there, and you walk in some of this room and it feels like an oven, right? So that's what I'm saying. All the layout, so it's not just the material. So the roofing is one aspect, and also the material, the layout, uh, position of the house, um, because usually around the house. You have one section that uh, the airflow is very, very good. Um, and But sometimes it's very difficult because uh, you can't really rotate the house um, to, to that aspect. But uh, you have to factor, that's why we are believing elevation and, and, and open uh, floor plans and stuff like that. So, so it's, a, it's a series of a bunch of things um, um, to, to make sure that the airflow is quality. So, so there's... Um, so obviously, you know, the higher the pitch, then it's going to, um, it takes longer for the heat to get from them. Because those, those, those sheets are gonna be, be holding the heat like you wouldn't believe. And they're gonna transfer them if they would, the trust is closer to it easily. Okay? How it makes sense. All right, so, um, and so that's the thing, right? Uh, it's about, you know, the experience and, and, and planning things well in the details. And that is what I enjoy the most, which is, you know, challenging yourself and looking at something and making it better, right? Um, because in the end, um, that's why all the houses are not the same. They're not the same. Uh, some houses, when you go in there, you can see that, wow, this is like well thought out. And, you know, there's a lot of thinking uh, ideas that went into that because at the end of the day, you don't want your house to be the same. You want your house to be unique. Um, and in Ghana, we tend to have elaborate. The aesthetics is very nice and the inside is just basic. So I'm, I care about more the inside uh, because that's how it's, that's gonna bring you the quality of, um, increase your quality of happiness than um, having something glamorous and you go inside, it's just like basic, right? And so this is food for thought. Um, it can be done, all this thing can be done. Just, you just gotta, you know, gotta be disciplined, find the right team, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, and um, so that is what it's about. And um, and so you, and well, you could, so the question here is, I've seen some, I've seen some. So obviously, you know, one of the, one of the things is uh, you have to make sure you seal properly, right? Um, the rainy season, uh, gonna rain, it can be very, very severe, it's nice. Um, so so those are one of those things and uh, uh, you want to make sure it's, it's, it's done properly to keep water uh, from, from coming into the house and that kind of stuff. So it, it might be something that, because you, you have to factor this into as well, um, you know, you have to be checking the sealant very well because, you know, sometimes the rainy season is heavy and then in the summertime too, you know, the sun is really, really hot. So you have to be checking back and forth. But but I've seen, I have seen some, not a lot though. I've seen some like people that especially do like a hidden roof. Uh, I think one of my friends have done that, um, you know, stuff like that. So you do, it's not very common You do that. Yeah, you know, they're not, they're not. So, but you have to, but ideally, there's a couple of ways you can build it. You can build it to help you uh, deal with the water issues, but that'll be consultation that you have to factor in. Hello, Pai Willie. Okay, so give a few shout outs here. Delay TV with comments. Um, Bridgie, thank you for joining us. East Pack, thank you. Um, Pai Willie's here. Okay, so if I have a few questions, we'll take it and uh, we'll wrap it up. So, so basically, it's about 
you know, thinking is true, right? Thinking is true. Uh, the pros and cons, even if you want to do sky, like where are you going to put it? Uh, you have to probably factor in that if rain is able to come in, basically it's not like on, on top of your appliances, right? Um, stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but you can you can get whatever you want within, within reason, right? And so, and so I don't want you to feel like um, just because you know just because it's not common in Ghana. Does mean you know it cannot be done. It can be executed. If you find the right team, you can. I challenge my guys all the time of you know doing new things, incorporating new things. You know, like um, even like the floating wall for the next build. It's like uh, the style we want to do is very very different and stuff like that. So. Well, some well sometimes. So so if you look at it this way too. Uh, depending on the layout, you may not have always like attained. I feel like hallways are waste. You know, I feel like hallways were like uh, sometimes I feel like it's like 18, 1980s designs uh, because um, they don't really serve a lot of purpose. In Ghana, the hallways tend to, if, if there's no AC, sometimes, man, the heat just uh, concentrate over there. So, because I feel like it's a, it's a space that you can't really use, right? Uh, and so most of my plans you see, you know, we, we remove the hallway, we open things up. So if you have that, then you can do it. Like if you have maybe a high ceiling that uh, goes all the way up from the main floor, then it will make sense, you can do that. But, but I've seen people put like in the master bedroom, um, you know, so they can see the moonlight, you know, I've seen, I've seen that, uh, but, but, um, and mostly I've seen them on like hidden roofs, uh, when they do hidden roofs, um, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So, so it's just, you have to, you know, you have to factor in the design, you know, um, some things is going to, is going to work with the design. Sometimes it's not going to work with the design, you know, you know, if you have, you know, very pitch. Uh, pitch roof and stuff like that. Then you have to really factor in a bunch of stuff how to get the water out. But the but the thing is, if you have a hidden roof with concrete over there, it's easy to, I think, build that type of style over there. We have chaos here. I brought. Thank you. Yeah. So so you know it, you know it depends. Yeah. So you know you know you just have to. It has to be executed. Executed well. If it's done well, um, you know, it'll look nice. Exactly. It's a heat trap, right? Yeah. So he does it, does the good way. Yeah, it's a heat trap. Um, so so get away from the you know, from the hallways, uh, because sometimes too, one of the things happens is uh, and I'm gonna tell you this, right? Um the reason why sometimes it's easier to do the open floor plan is you know, when you put ACs in there. You can really spread out the, um, you know, um, the air, the air, you know, output. Right. Granted, you might have to get like a two point five unit um, horsepower to be able to to power this whole space, because sometimes what happens is this, and this has happened to me. Um, the hallways, there's no way the AC can get there, so you are forced to put either like a standing AC at a corner, it doesn't really flow with the design or put a smaller AC just for the hallway. See what I'm saying? And and so, you know, that is about another, you know, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars to put another AC and installation and that stuff that could have gone to the project. So you just have to factor that in, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, you, I mean, so, so look at it, right? So here we use, well, you know, we use installation, right? In primarily in the U.S. to kind of like trap the heat, right? Because you don't want, um, in the winter time when you are heating the place, you don't want the heat to just run to the attic. Because the attic, two things, going to be super cold in the winter, 
and it's going to be hot in the summer. And so, um, so I'm trying to figure the cost whether it's a useful necessity. So, so assuming you have, you know, good POP system to, you know, just trap. So basically, you're trapping the heat in the attic, and the room is. Because if you want to do insulation, you know, what are you going to do? Foam, right? You're going to do foam or, um, I mean, foam meaning like spray spray foam or like the wool material that they put in there. I, I think it's not money well spent. So I would say, you know, get a good ceiling, open up the place, get a good windows, let air comes in, and um, and then run the AC if you need to. You know, um, that's how I would do it. No, so I've not choose a solar company. Uh, I have I have a couple in mind, um, and um, and so and I'm because I'm not there to that level yet. So at a certain point, you know, I'm gonna relook at the whole of uh, solar thing again. Uh, but I know definitely I want solar because I can I can't do generator. I don't have the space, um, and, and also I like, you know, I want the solar option as well, uh, for for multiple reasons, and uh, it's a smaller house, so um, I think overall the cost, I kind of have a budget in my mind how to do it, but for cost wise, but you know, by the time I get it, you know, prices will probably change, so at a certain point I'll reconsider. Uh, these companies, and then and then I'll do a video about all uh, that, right? But I'm a few years from from getting to to that level. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, the other it's not cheap. You know, you see, ladies, so you know, sometimes you know, like you know, that's what sometimes when I you know when I tell people like the building the building price is expensive, and you go to sort of YouTube YouTubers, and it's not a big deal, and I'm like, wow. Now missing something, you know the quality. The quality is going to matter, right? And um, and the and these things can they add up pretty. You know my cost for my POP. You know is more than some people do for their foundation, right? Um, you know, granted, it's, you know it's a it's a big house, and stuff like that. But but they did a good job. So you know things 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 add up. Um, and I think. Am I gonna do look POP for so I'm not going to do POP for the for the modern um for the modern build. Just gonna plaster it straight and I might do some crown moldings and then that's it. Because I'm keeping it strictly, you know, super modern. At a certain point they will. Uh, I think I think also too the design is more like the design going out of style, right? Um, and I also think too, sometimes it doesn't match, you know, you look at the architectural style of the home and the POP is something else. And so simple is better. Um, so at a certain point, it's, it's all about the creativity, right? I think it went out of style and it came back. <laughs> uh, it was gone for about 10 years and it came back. So, so I think it's more like the design. And I think you can do some nice, simple POP design. Not necessarily on the ceiling; it can be on the wall sometimes. So, so just one, it's just one of those things. Yeah. So, so it's clean, you know. It's just it's just clean look, um, you know. And I've seen ones with elaborate, uh, you know. If it's Mediterranean style home, you can do elaborate. You know, if it's modern, just go clean. It ties in better. Uh, it depends, you know. So because of it, it depends. It depends on the brand, you know, the horsepower and stuff like that. You know, you could get the 1.0, 1.5, like four or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. So the brand, and I would say buy quite buy good AC's. Uh, the worst thing is like you know in the summer your AC breaks down, it's not working. Okay. Yep. So plastic, you know, plastic board is a is another option. Yep. And so. Um, Yes, yes, and then we can we can talk we can talk uh, specifics, specifics that. So it's about it's about thinking through. So what I what I do is before I even start a project, I have I have a bunch of folders, 
and I start throwing stuff in. Like I have stuff for windows design, I'm not there yet. I have stuff for even furniture, right? I have stuff for my lighting in there. I have stuff for my paint and uh, my roofing design. So I have these folders that I put in there and then I'm adding stuff and I'm adding stuff. And as I said, get close, I look at them and then I narrow them to to what I really want. Um, and and so so do that. There's a lot of there's a lot of homework that you have to do to you know to get everything. Like I said, your house should be unique. It should nobody should have your house. They might have the exterior, same design, but the interior should be so unique to you guys, right? Um, and it's okay sometimes when the, because in the past people would be like. Um, you know, I want exactly what you want in the house. And I said, I can't give you all that stuff unless you come in consultation. So I can say, okay, da 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 da. But but you want you want that unique. Now, if you're in a different country, because I remember many years ago somebody tried to buy my plan for the first house, and uh, and I said no, uh, because the person was in Ghana. I said, No, I can help you how you can combine a bunch of plans and come with something similar but I'm not going to give you the floor plan. Then somebody in Zimbabwe, so if you're outside Ghana, yeah, then maybe we can do that. But, but it's just, um, you know, keep, it's okay to keep things on and stuff like that. What is your take on using line? Uh, so, you know, I know people, people sometimes want to talk about the benefit of a company, the individual, if there's a benefit like this. The company is also full of it. Some engage in, in shenanigans and fraud too. They do. They do. Um, and so at the end of the day, you still do your homework. And uh, you still do your homework. You see, I'll tell you this, right? When it comes to the land deal, a lot of people don't know how this thing works. They, because it's like... <laughs> They don't know how this thing works. It is very complicated. And you need people in both the land division aspect and that you need people that know all the, the other things, um, the intangibles of all the various ways that things go can go wrong. And so it's not a simple process. You know, and that's when we get in, it takes us month, month to sort a lot of things out, right? And so, you know, read a company. Um, don't go there thinking you're going to get 99 years. If the company has owned the land for 20 years and they're giving you for 79. And so read all this stuff. Sometimes this company will put stipulations in there like, um, you know, they have to approve your building plan and all kinds of stuff. You got to play in HO fees. So read, you know, this is where the, the excitement and the emotions will go outside. And you got to bring my stakeover and read these deals, right? To see what I try, you're going to own it. Uh, you can transfer everything in your name and you can decide whether you want to sell it. Some, if it's a gated community, they might prevent you from doing commercial property over there. You must understand that. So, um, you know, read, read that and ask questions, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go listen. Go because when you fix something, then it, it gives another outlook. Then you want to fix. It. Get a photo. Take your time. Take your time, and then and then get it right before you you execute. You know, planning. Planning is going to help you execute something unique, something special. Right. You don't see me, you will never see me doing my video moving things around because before we hit the ground, we have um we have planned things. Like I just sent my team the other day to go extend two plumbing pipes because I decided I want to expand my master bed uh, bathroom further to the to the balcony and reduce the size of the balcony. So they have to go and do that. So I'm saying it's like, um, it's now to do that before they are casting the pillars so they can just put their pipes in. So you have to make this decision sooner, right? 
sooner than later, right? So, so get a folder helps. I'll tell you this. Um, uh, paint, there's quality painting on it, but I have one, probably one of the best painters. Uh, those guys, man, those guys are awesome. Like, they they love the job. You know, they paint with passion and enthusiasm. And they will fix it. They will fix it. If you have to paint that place four times to get it right, they'll do it. And so it's the quality and then the workmanship, right? Um, uh, and so and so that's what you see. And sometimes they'll charge you for high-quality paint and they go buy some crappy stuff. Sometimes, too, they have to do some correction. You know, the plastering was not accurate. It was not smooth. There's bumps all over. So my guys came in there. You know, they 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 do all kinds of stuff. So it's it's a combination of that. Um, and if you ain't know, it can it can drive you nuts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Phases. Uh, you can buy. We can buy our building guide construction building guide is going to give you all the everything you need to know everything you need to know um that will get you about 99.9 percent uh you know it takes a lot of time and a lot of collaboration to put that document together and that is going to help you because i can tell you this a lot of the builders ain't gonna lend by the trade but the execution the details the sequence is outdated you see what i'm saying because now we want new things right we want we are bringing technology and we bring you all kinds of stuff and so it is up on you to figure it out you can find this under our services um um and then and then you can get them okay all right three more minutes five more minutes and then we go and then and then i'm gonna wrap it up yeah and, Yep. So, so this, it is very important, and I, and I do a lot already, because every now and then you're looking online, you see something. Oh, you know, say put it here, um, and that is why even the casuas, you know, the paint color is really, really nice because I have looked at a lot of Mediterranean homes, and I wanted something that is not conflating, right? So, and you learn a lot about painting. Do you want the house to be cozy? You want it to be warm? You want it to be inviting? And so the colors must work, you know. Um, so you do that. You you do it now, and then it's going to it's going to help down the road. Yeah. So it's important. Okay. Other than that, um, gonna wrap it up in two to three minutes. Don't want to go past that. Um, and that kind of stuff. And so. Yeah, so so that's the thing. Um, so that's the thing. Plan, uh, plan, plan very well. Uh, be detailed and then execute. Just execute. It's gonna, it's gonna work. I'm still tweaking, tweaking here and there. Nothing crazy. I've done all my major stuff, but I'm still tweaking. When I do my flowing, I go to the uh, second level. I'm still gonna tweak, tweak and and make it perfect. Uh, that's exactly how I want it. Right? Exactly how I want it. So. Other than that, um, you know, reach out, you know, reach out to us. Um, you know, you can you can visit the website um, and then see our services and stuff. And then just just keep keep hungry, just keep keep focus. And it's a lot of distraction out there, but it's your dream, right? It's a dream, and then execute. And you all can do it. All of you can do it. Um, okay. Obviously, you're gonna need discipline. Find the right team and then and and then make it make it happen. Okay. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to tune in. And then I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um I'm doing the, my guys are working on the project now. So hopefully I'm hoping I can get some video for Thursday about the building process. Uh they took a little break. So I think yes, today's Saturday, they're still on site. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So I'll try to get you a video by Thursday about uh, about the building. All right, thank you.
Bye-bye.